All right, well, I've got a fun card to show you, but I just wanted to, um, you know, do my little housekeeping at the very beginning. Um, I just got this, actually, my new team member brought this by. I had not had a chance to get the new um, celebration, the second offering. So here's the pamphlet uh, that I wanted to show you. So these are these start, these start were available starting the middle of the month. So um, tomorrow is the, actually the last day of the month. So here's February's host code host code let me try that again host code so if you want to get a free item um, when you shop in my online store just uh, use that host code and I'll send you a free gift in the beginning of March but then I just wanted to show you the really uh, pretty brochure this little trifle brochure um, they've got two new $50 item offerings and then this is the $100 uh, bundle it's this gorgeous stamp set along with the um, designer series paper and um, the butterfly elements and the grapefruit grove foil sheets those two items have sold out um, there possibly will be some new items oh and the precious parcel kit has also sold out so um, I should probably cross these off. So that's gone, that's gone, and that's gone. There possibly can, will be some new items coming out in March. So, and then this is really exciting. Celebration coordination. So this is gonna start March 1st. So this is gonna start on Friday, but there are framelits that coordinate with the, um, Hello Cupcake stamp set, the uh, So Hoppy Together stamp set, um, the Lily's stamp set, along with the Four Seasons, which is this stamp set right here. So there are some wonderful framelits and thinlets that are going to coordinate with those items, which is really exciting. There's also a brand new punch along with um, more than words. So um, you can actually buy the thinlets and then you could actually get the stamp set for free. So that's really exciting. And, um, you know, just wanted to let you know. So this starts March 1st through the end of the month. Um, this, uh, this is actually now through the end of of March and you know just as always it is while supplies last so um, you know if there's something that you want I would definitely uh, grab it now but anyway this is the card that we're making today I wanted to I'm gonna change it up just a little bit I'm not crazy about the ink color um, but I wanted to show you uh, the product of the week which is the be mine stitched framelits um, this is in the occasions catalog along with the all my love designer series paper and I just grabbed some um, papers from the collection uh, this is part of the Valentine's suite that came out but I wanted to show you that you can use these items in other ways because I mean I love Valentine's Day I love this stuff and it just never fails it's like once the holiday has passed I just kind of like feel like or it's like I don't really know how else to use it I'm not sure what else I can do with it so I challenged myself um, this week to come up with a just a very generic um, card uh, that you can add anything to it and it can just be like an all occasions card so this just a note is coming from home to roost which is one of our celebration um stamps and you know even if you're not like a big rooster fan i love the sentiments i think this set is is perfect just to get for the sentiments enjoy the simple moments missing you thanks for your friendship just a note i mean you could use just a note for everything so that's what i did here and i think i'm going to change it up to soft suede so y'all will have to let me know if you think soft suede is going to be a little bit better so what i did here is i just grabbed um the little stitched scallop heart right here so hopefully you can see the detail and um, the squares the 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 first and the last square I did have to trim down just a little bit um, and I overlapped the paper and I'll show you how I did that but um, you can either use the uh, where is it you can either use the smallest 
a square framelit from our layering squares. This measures a uh, one and a quarter by one and a quarter. Um, I'm just gonna use my little paper trimmer and just trim that off. And then um, obviously you're gonna need your big shot to cut out the hearts. So why don't we get started? I've already kind of shown you some of the supplies, so I'll just formally give you the rest. So like I said, this is the um, All My Love Designer Series paper. And I just went through, and I'm gonna use some of these front and back. So I just got a strip. This just strip just measures about one and a half inches wide. And then you're gonna need your Be Mine Stitched Framelits. Um, the favorite framelit is the, and I probably don't have it in here. It's somewhere in my mess, but it's, let me show you here in the catalog. It's the Stitched Scallop Framelit right here. I love, well, here, I'll show you. Um, it's in here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Right here, you can see the stitched scallop. That is, it's a, it's an edgelet, so it goes probably, oh, I don't know how long it is. If I knew where it was in my house, I don't know how long it is, but anyway, I love it. It's, um, it makes just a beautiful little edge, and I love scallops. I'm a, that's, I'm a sucker for scallops. So anyway, that's probably my favorite um, die out of this collection, but I love this one equally. So I'm gonna be using that. Uh, for cardstock, I just have Thick Whisper White. Um, this is just a A2 size card, so this measures um, eight and a half by five and a half. Score this, I've just got my Simply Score tool, and I'm gonna score this at four and a quarter. And then I will fold this in half using my bone folder to burnish. Um, if y'all have any questions, uh, just comment below, and before uh, the live is over, I will go through and answer them. And then, like I said, I've got Home to Roost, so this is a free set, so if you uh, choose the paper and the framelits, I'm sure that gets you to, oh, and if you need stamp, uh, the ink color, so soft suede, I'm sure that will get you to the $50 mark to get that for free. And then I'm just gonna use a combination of snail and uh, dimensionals. I'm gonna pop up the hearts uh, to give them a little dimension. I guess that's kind of redundant. <laughs> All right, so let me get my little paper trimmer right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the squares. So let me get my sample right here so I can see what paper she used. And like I said, this is just a quarter, one and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch. So. If you want to use your Big Shot, you can. I just find this easier. Okay, so I'm going to need... Did I not do that? Oh, I didn't. Okay. Didn't do that one. All right, so then I need this one. And right there. Okay. And um, I just love these colors. They're just so pretty. This this pattern is probably one of my favorites. Um, whoops, that's gonna not make a square. I just love the blue and the, the pinks and the greens together. Just so, so pretty. Okay, and then this is, so I've got five squares. And um, like I said, I had to overlap it a little bit. I tried to make my square just a little bit smaller, but when I did that, the heart was too big. Cause I'm, you know, to get five across the five and a half inch, um, I had to cut off just a little bit. So, but the heart was too big to, um, okay, so that's just a heart there. So hold on, how many do I have here? One, two, three, four. Okay, I need another, I need that pattern. Where's that one? Oh, here we go. Um, so that's what I had to do. I had to over, overlap and when designing, 
not that I have a formal background by any means, um, they always say that odd numbers are more pleasing to the eye. So at first I tried four and it just didn't look right. Three just was, it wasn't enough. So just overlapping, well, it works out. Okay, so I've got that, that. I do like the order that I did it in. I thought that I did a pretty good job of doing that and then that. Okay, so that's how our squares are gonna go. Um, even though these are both floral prints and these are both kind of graphic, um, yeah, see, I didn't like the two whites together like that. So I feel like that goes okay. And then I've got the kind of the, the creme cakes on, on the ends. That is three weeks in a row that I'm getting calls during my Facebook Lives. I apologize for that. Okay, so let's, I'm going to put these off over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the big shot. And so we just need to do five hearts. So let me get that and I'll do that really quickly. And <laughs> y'all are going to have to excuse my bent um, acrylic plates. I somewhere, gosh, if y'all could see my house right now, it's, we, we did, um, we did three bedrooms and a hallway and four, cl two closets and like a linen closet. So I thought my house was gonna be a little bit more put together uh, by now, but it's not. So I had to, I don't know where my better plates are, so I'm <laughs> using some old ones. Okay, so I'm just gonna, so I need to punch out five hearts or die cut five hearts. So I'm using the magnetic platform and hopefully this won't shake too much. So there's one of the hearts. Okay, and then, um, okay, I need this one right here. So anyway, like I was kind of saying at the very beginning, I, I really, really have enjoyed this designer series paper, and I didn't want just to let it, you know, go to waste. So, um... I feel like it's, you know, obviously it fits the bill for Valentine's Day. I mean, I think it was a lovely collection and I know a lot of my customers enjoyed using this. Um, and like I said, I just, I just didn't want to, I wanted to use it again. So when I made this card, I thought, you know, it's even though it's full of hearts, I think it can still be used for, um, you know, other things besides Valentine's Day. And there may be Lottie maybe making an appearance today. And you know what would be really nice, and I suggest this often, is, you know, you can make, if you like to make handmade gifts, you can make like a set of these um, and give them to a friend, tie them in a really, you know, we have the, the little uh, clear boxes. You could put five note cards and a box um, with, with the match, you know, you could just get five of our medium size envelopes and just tie some pretty ribbon around it um, or put the cards inside the uh, into the clear box and then tie a pretty ribbon around that and then just give it as a gift. Um, I know I would love to get, oh, okay, I did use this. I just, oh, okay, I see what I did here. Um, I just think it would be so nice to get a handmade gift of cards because isn't it wonderful when you have a card ready to go? You know, I know like my daughter, mom, I need a birthday card. You know, she's always doing it at the last minute. And it's just so nice to have her, you know, to say, grab one out of my basket. Um, so just having, I think giving cards away like that would just be so lovely. All right, so what I did here is I'm just going to kind of place them down before I adhere them. And I did, here on the sample, I did kind of, you know, stagger them. Maybe I won't stagger them so severely. I kind of feel like a could have done like a little bit better, maybe not so staggered. 
so obvious, I guess, is this what I'm trying to say. And I just want to make sure that I have got this even across. So it's just kind of playing around. And let's see here. So I didn't, I cut off probably like an eighth of an inch on both sides. So that works. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the ends first. And I'm just gonna put like a little bit of snail down just in case if I have to pull these up, I can without ripping the designer series paper in my card base. And then once I know for sure that it looks good, I'll go back and attach um, attach them down even further, if that makes sense. Hopefully y'all understood what I'm trying to say there. Okay, so I'm also using the grid lines for my paper to help me line these up. I feel like this one's crooked. I broke, I broke this nail with all this stuff to, and uh, <laughs> I haven't gotten it fixed yet in it. I really, I really need to get it fixed. I don't, you know, I'm left-handed and so obviously I use that finger a lot and it's just kind of like, it's hard to get used to it, a, a nail not being there. Okay, and then this one. Do y'all still have this collection in your in your supplies? Did y'all get this collection? Okay, and so what I'm doing also is like this white one is on top of um, these two designer series, and then this white one, I think I'm gonna do the same. No, I wanna go down. Okay, so I think that's gonna look okay. Uh, this one looks like it's, like I said, this is all just kind of playing around until it looks pleasing to the eye. All right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and trim um, the edges. I just got to find my scissors. They were just here. Mm, oh, there they are. So just trim off the overhang. And um, Friday is March 1st, just amazes me. And I have two spots left in my hostess club, the Lovely Lipstick Club. I'm looking for two more members to join um, my hostess club. And if you aren't familiar with what that is, is that for six months, you agree to spend at least $25 with me before tax and shipping and then you are eligible to be a hostess one time during that six month rotation. So it's a great way to um, build up your Stampin' Up! supplies in an economical way. Um, when you become a member of my hostess club, uh, okay, come on, oh, there we go. Um, You'll receive a free catalog in June. So the new annual catalog is going to be coming out here before we know it. So you'll receive that. You'll also get a goodie bag for me on your in your final month that is worth $25, up to $25 of Stampin' Up! product. I ship that to you. And um, so, like I said, it's just a great way to get your supplies. So if you would like to uh, learn more information about that. So it's going to start in March and run through um, so March, April, May, June, July, August. So it's going to go through August. So that will definitely uh, be great months to be a hostess. And if you have any questions about that, please just uh, reach out to me. You can reach out to me on Facebook or head on over to istampin.com and you can um, let me know that you wanna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna try this in soft suede and I'm gonna go a little bit closer. I felt like this was a little too high. 
And I want to do this before I put my hearts on because um, the hearts are going to be up with uh, dimensionals. Ah! It's kind of crooked. Ah, oh well. And I don't know if I like that color either. <sighs> I don't know. I wonder if I should have done it in black or maybe crumb cake. I didn't want to do crumb cake even though this is crumb cake. I thought crumb cake would be a little too light. Well, it's crooked. I, I do think I like it a little bit better than the lovely lipstick, but I'm sorry for my, I probably should have got the Stamparatus out and did that first. Okay, so like I always tell my customers, it's handmade. It's okay. <laughs> so I'm going to tell myself the same thing that I tell them. <laughs> All right, so then I'm just going to come in and just put the hearts right here in the center. And then this, this card will be done. So, um, the other uh, special thing that's going on in March is Paper Pumpkin's uh, sixth birthday. So, we will be receiving two stamp sets in uh, next month's kit. So, if you want to make sure that you get the birthday box, which should be lots of fun, you just want to uh, be sure to subscribe by uh, March 10th. And um, if you do it just for one month, it's $20 plus tax. The shipping is already included in the price. If you want to sign up um, and do it on a subscription basis, it's $19.95 plus tax. Like uh, shipping is already included in that price. And then um, you can also, uh, we have prepaid um, subscriptions we have three six and twelve month and if you do the three month um, you will qualify for a celebration item so just wanted to also let you know about that too you know what I don't like that the hearts I like this better this is like two like the hearts look like I, I look like I'm drunk and I didn't do a very good job of that <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, this this Ice Jump on Live has been kind of a clunker, I feel like. Okay, I don't like this one. So this is the one I'm gonna show you. <laughs> okay, guys, well anyway, sorry. I'm gonna come back tomorrow with the better, with the with another project using this. So again, that was using the All My Love Designer Series Paper, the Be Mine Stitch Framelits, and Home to Roost. And um, thank you for joining me today. Uh, thank you guys and have a wonderful rest of your week. Let me get this out of the way with the brightness. And um, I just love that y'all join me every week. All right, guys, have a great Wednesday. Bye.